As always, I am sharing three new dinner recipes this week. I know our family loved them and yours will too. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. I am always looking for a unique way to make chicken and I found this recipe and I was very excited to give it a try. It is called Mexican street corn chicken. It's very simple. It's just gonna bake in the oven. Let's get started. I'm just preheating my oven to 350. I should have recorded this, but I just covered this in some saran wrap and used this to make sure all of them were the same thickness. This was two chicken breasts. I just cut them in half because they were rather thick, but now they're all the same thickness. Okay, to get started, I've got a large bowl here. I'm gonna use an entire bag, a one pound bag of sweet yellow corn. If you don't have frozen corn, you could use two cans of corn, just drain them first. Now let's add in a fourth a cup of mayo. I'm just gonna eyeball this. That should be about right. And a fourth a cup of sour cream. We just need a half a tablespoon of lime juice. I thought I had a fresh lime, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna use this. And one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Let's just mix all of that together. Okay, let's just set this to the side. Now I've got a nine by 13 casserole dish. I'm gonna spray it with nonstick spray. And I'm just going to add my four chicken breasts here. It's actually two, but you know. Okay, now I'm just going to season the tops of my chicken with a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That is optional. Now we're just going to put our corn mixture on top, spread it out as evenly as we can. My corn is still pretty much frozen. So I may need to add a little extra baking time to mine. The key with this and anytime you are baking chicken breast, you don't want to dry them out. So you don't want them to get over 165 degrees. So just keep an eye on it. Okay, this is going in the oven at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. For our side tonight, I'm gonna to be making green beans. I haven't made those on my channel in forever, but I will leave the recipe linked below. Okay, my green beans are going. We have about 15 minutes left before our chicken is done. So I got some of this queso fresco cheese and I remember getting this one time thinking I could melt it and I could not, <laughs> but um, it's easy to crumble apparently. So that's what we're gonna crumble on top. And then I've also got some cilantro I won't put it over the entire dish. Cole is here tonight and Cole is not a huge fan of cilantro. So I'm just gonna chop this up for me and Steven to put it on top of ours. And then we'll also put this yummy cheese on there. I don't know, but it looks good. Mmm. Oh yeah. This corn topping. Wow, lots of flavor in there. Yeah? Yeah, that is really good. Spicy, it's got this creamy and then uh -huh. The cheese, the crumbled cheese on there. It's like a spicy, sweet and spicy, creamy kind of flavor to it. I don't know. It's really good. I liked your hand motions. I zoomed in on that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is good. Is that cream cheese? That can't be cream cheese. No, there's no cream cheese. There's mayonnaise and sour cream together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and there's some lime juice in there. Oh. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very unique flavor. I like this. Okay, good. Cole? Mm -hmm. He says, yup. All right, I'm gonna dig in and see what I think. I'm gonna agree with the guys that this is delicious. That cayenne pepper definitely adds a little bit of a kick to it. Gosh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend this. Gracie Lou. Do you recommend? Hold on, let me get some cheese, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm coming. Ma'am, chill. Okay, Gracie approves now, right? <laughs> For our second meal, I am recreating a dish that I just had while I was on vacation. It is a Greek salmon bowl. So I had this at a restaurant on Hilton Head Island called Main Street Pub and Cafe. I normally get crab legs there, but this dish sounded so good and I'm so glad that I tried it because we fell in love with it. I say we because I gave Steven a bite or two, but I said I have to remake this. The longest part of this meal is just going to be the rice. I've already got it on the stove now. I also pre-cut all of my veggies earlier today just so that I would be ready for dinner tonight. I'm going to use my steamer to steam my salmon. We're gonna saute the veggies 
I've got the rice going. Dinner is gonna be in a snap. I'm gonna go ahead and season my salmon. This is my salmon from ButcherBox. It's just me and Steven here tonight. And I'm gonna season it with this anti no no seafood seasoning. I really love this seasoning. We're gonna check it after about nine minutes and just see if it's done. So let's press start. Okay, that's getting going. So now let's saute our veggies. So to my large skillet, I'm heating it to medium high. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter. Several of you have asked about this new skillet that I have. I got it from Pampered Chef. I hosted a Pampered Chef party not too long ago. And this was one of the things that I got from that party and I love it. Okay, my butter has melted. Let's add in our onion. We'll just dump it all in. I've got my red and my green bell pepper. No surprise here. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this Auntie No Knows Everything seasoning. Okay, I'm just gonna let these saute for maybe three or four minutes. These are starting to soften just a little bit. Let's add in a little bit of minced garlic, maybe a tablespoon or so. And we'll just continue to let this saute for a couple more minutes. Now at this point, you could make your own Greek vinaigrette, but just for time's sake and for just being lazy, <laughs> I'm gonna use this Greek vinaigrette. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna start with maybe a quarter a cup. I turned the temperature down as well. I just really want that Greek flavor to kind of infuse with all of our veggies. Okay, this is just gonna hang out for just a little bit. I may add some more if I feel like it needs it. This is looking and smelling amazing. I'm gonna add in some feta cheese here. We're also gonna put feta on top of our salmon when we're done but we love feta, so I wanted to go ahead and add it in with my veggies too. I'm gonna add just a little more dressing. Awesome, let's let that hang out and dinner is almost ready. Okay friends, our rice is done. Our veggies are pretty much done and our salmon is done. So that means let's eat. All right, let's get this salmon here. Gracie is going crazy down there. She's like, y'all holding out. Lou. Wow, those vegetables are really good. Whatever that sauce, whatever that you've got cooking, that you cooked this in? Mm hmm I just cooked it in Greek vinaigrette. Mm. The good? What about mm. the salmon? Mm hmm It should be cooked pretty perfectly. Oh, man. Get you some rice in there, yeah, too. It's really good. The salmon, mm -hmm. I love the seasonings on top. It's anti-no-nos. Oh, yeah. The flavors of the salmon with the veggies and the the vinaigrette, is it a vinaigrette? Mm -hmm. Saltiness of the olives and the mm -hmm. feta cheese, just, man, it's just really good. Yeah, thinking back mm -hmm. to Main Street Cafe, very similar? It's very similar, Okay. Yeah. Which yeah. do you think I don't is remember when I ate, I don't remember getting the, the flavor of the veggies as much. Okay, so mine might be a little more heavy hitting on the flavor. I don't know, it may be, yeah. He didn't have much of it. I ate the majority of it because it was that good, but you know. Wow. I'm gonna give you my feedback in just a second. Ow. That was fast. <laughs> you have some on your nose, ma'am. Did you get it? You got it, good girl. This is very similar to what I had last week. I love this, I love the feta cheese, the Kalamata olives. I cooked my rice in chicken stock just so it gave it a little more flavor. If you wanted to go low carb, you could definitely do like rice cauliflower instead of just regular rice, but mm -hmm. to make this a complete meal and to really fill us up, I've decided to go with just regular rice. It is our third recipe of the week and that means it's subby supper night. Tonight's subby supper comes from Diana. Diana was born and raised in California. She said she was raised by her little Greek grandmother. She has been married to Doug for 28 years and they have four boys, the youngest of which are twins who just turned 18 like this last week. Something that she's working on right now, which I love, is that she's making a family favorites recipe binder for each of her boys. So she's typing out all the recipes and the instructions with all the little extra notes and everything. 
I love that. That is such a great idea. The picture that you see here of Diana and Doug, they were on their way to go see a Cowboys versus the Raiders game. He's a Raiders fan. She is a Cowboys fan for life. This recipe sounds right up our alley and it's in the Instant Pot, so I'm not gonna have to heat up the whole kitchen. It's called Mom's Cajun Beans and Rice. Okay, to get started, we are going to rinse our beans. I had never heard of this brand of beans, but when she mentioned it, I typed it in to my local grocery store and they had it. So. This is the Hearst's Ham Beans brand, and this is the Cajun brand. If you don't like Cajun seasoning or you don't like anything spicy, you can just get their regular 15 bean soup. So I've got this colander here. This is a new colander to me. I'm still testing it out, but it takes up less space because it collapses. It came in a two pack, the smaller one and then a larger one too. But we're just going to remove the seasoning pack for now and pour these into this colander. And we're just going to check it for rocks, pebbles. You know, unfortunately, that can be something that happens. So I'm gonna go through this pretty well and make sure we're good. And then I'm gonna rinse these off. And we're just gonna set these to the side for now. Okay, I've got two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to kind of crush those here in my garlic mincer. Okay, and then I'm also going to chop up an onion. And then optional for this is some celery and carrots, but if I can put some veggies in a meal, why not? Okay, so Diana usually uses the Hillshire Farm Cajun style andouille. Is it andouille? I'm pretty sure it is. Smoked sausage, I could not find that. All my store had was this Zatarain's brand, but we're just going to slice this up. Let's turn this onto the saute function and let that get hot. While we're waiting on it to come up to temperature, I've got just this little bit of butter left. You can use either butter or olive oil to coat the bottom. Okay, we're going to saute our sausage first. Just throw that into the bottom. We're just gonna saute this until it's browned. Should only take a few minutes. These have pretty much browned. I'm gonna use my little clip here. Several of you have asked about this. This is the Instant Pot brand. A subscriber mailed this to me. It has a magnet on the back, so I just put it on my fridge, but this will hold the thing in place so it doesn't spin while I'm scraping the bottom and sauteing things. Let's go ahead and remove our sausage since it's pretty good and browned. And we're just gonna set this to the side for now. Now straight back in here, I'm gonna add my carrots, my celery, and my onion. And we're just going to saute this for about five minutes. Okay, I'm having to add just a little more olive oil in. I know I used butter, but it was starting to kind of dry up. Okay, I said five minutes, I meant about three, and it's been right at three minutes. We're gonna also add in our garlic now at this point and just saute for another 30 to 45 seconds. We don't wanna burn our garlic. And this next step, you can choose one of two things. You can either add bouillon and water or just beef broth. I was gonna go the beef broth route, but I realized I had this on hand and this is exactly what she uses. So we're gonna use this and water. So we need six cups of water. That's four and two more. Scrape the bottom. I was already kind of scraping the bottom. You never want to leave anything kind of burned on the bottom. You want to make sure you scrape it all off so you don't get that burn notice when you're cooking. Now I'm going to add in six to seven teaspoons of that better than bouillon roasted beef base. Again, if you were just using beef broth, you would use six cups of beef broth. Now let's add in our beans that we rinsed earlier. Okay, and if at this point your beans and your um, celery and onion and all of that is not covered by water, add more water in. Now we're gonna add the seasoning pack that was in our beans. This is the Cajun seasoning. Stir all of this. Y'all, this smells so good. Okay, that's it. Let's take the clip off and put our lid on. Set it to ceiling. So right now it's on the saute, so we're gonna hit cancel. And we are going to do manual, so we're just gonna do pressure cook. And I've gotta move it up all the way to 40. This is going to pressure cook for 40 minutes, and then once the time is up, it will naturally release for about 20 minutes. While this is cooking, I am going to fix our rice because we will serve this over rice, but that's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be about an hour from now before this is ready, so I'm gonna wait a little bit before I make my rice. Okay, this looks amazing. We're gonna add our smoked sausage back in. I've had it in the fridge. We're just gonna let that heat through for just a minute. 
I am hungry. I know, you've told me 10 times. <laughs> I am hungry. Oh my gosh, Steven. Man, that looks good. Yeah, it does. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. I can't wait no longer. Be careful, it's hot. It's hot. It is hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Hot spot, hot. That's amazing. Wow. That sauce in there? Yes. I love the flavors. The carrots? Yes. Oh man, what a nice touch that is. There's carrots and celery and onion mm. and garlic. What is that called? The Maracuá? Mm -hmm. Am I making up words? It's like the holy trifecta or something like that. Something like I that. What it's called, yeah. That is tremendous. Mm. Rich, bold flavors. Yeah. That's what's in this. Okay, so instead of using beef broth, I used the um, that Better Than Bouillon roasted beef base. Uh -huh. That's what I added in there. So okay. that adds to that beefy flavor too, yeah. for sure. I, I really like this flavor. Okay, well, I'm going to dig in. Diana, oh my stars, this is so good. I love the Cajun flavoring to this. Mm -hmm. It's got that little bit of a kick, but it's not overly spicy. Oh my word. I added the, I don't know how you say that, hot sauce. Not the Woos, the other one. Chill. Cholula. Cholula. I added that and that's just the perfect little touch. She mentioned that you could add parsley or sour cream on top. You can kind of just do whatever you want, but mm -hmm. this is delicious. Before I say goodbye, I just wanted to let you know, I've got a lot of this left. So I'm gonna reserve enough for one thing of leftovers for both me and Steven for tomorrow for lunch. But then after that, I'm just gonna let this cool all the way and then put it in a large gallon size Ziploc bag and I'm gonna freeze the leftovers because I feel like this would be a great meal if I'm not in the mood to cook, to pull out of the freezer and have for um, dinner one night. So this makes a lot, just a heads up. You could definitely half it if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna make use and freeze it. That's gonna be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed these three recipes. I hope you'll give them a try. If you often find yourself in a dinner rut and you're always looking for new recipes, this is the place. Stick around, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Just come on through. Fix that hair, please. All right. You're so pretty. Now we're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, chili powder. Mmm. This is gonna be taste good. It's going to be taste good. Mm. <laughs> Why? I'm always making a mess. I mean, but are you cooking if you don't make a mess? Who doesn't make a mess? Our side dish tonight, la la la, dish. I can talk, I promise. Sausage down, baby.